TV. This is Greg Prescott from N5D.com and taking you guys on a little tour of Siesta Key. But first, I want to show you where I first lived. Synchronistically, I had a friend recommendation from uh, for Harmony Ananda. And that's the house right there. Let's loop around again. Yeah. Anyway, I had a friend recommendation for Harmony Ananda. And I followed up on it. And I was looking for a place here in Siesta Key. And there was a place available right here. So, I called up and ended up renting a place here. It's a studio apartment. It was beautiful. There's a pool in the back, all sorts of um, fresh fruit trees, avocados, limes, um, everything else. It's just a, a wonderful place uh, to live. And I got a really good deal. So I ended up living here. This was my first taste of Sarasota and Siesta Key. Uh, this is 2.3 miles from Crescent Beach on Siesta Key, so it was ideal. I absolutely loved it. So Harmony, if you're watching, thank you. So we're going to move on to another spot that I frequent often here in Sarasota that's near Siesta Key Beach. And I'll tune in when I get to it. See you in a few. This is the Grasshopper. It's a uh, Mexican Tex-Mex uh, bar, restaurant. Some of the best food you'll find here in Sarasota if you like Tex-Mex. Every day they have a different special, uh, you know, like Fajita Fridays, uh, Guest in Time, 4 to 7 every day. Um, they're closed right now. It's uh, like 10 o'clock in the morning. But I love this place. Grasshopper. Um, and there's something for everyone here, you know, whether you like uh, vegetarian or meat, you know, personally I, I, I like their fajitas. And if you, if you do go here, I would recommend the half order of fajitas. You know, when I first got here, I thought, oh yeah, I can eat that whole order. And I, and I could. But it was so big that I had to force it down. And I, I really didn't need that much food. And I'm a, I'm a big boy. You know, I'm 200 pounds, close to it. And, uh, you know, 5'11". So I, I can put it away if I wanted to. But I don't need that much food. And I highly recommend the half order if you're going to get the fajitas. Their tacos are fantastic. Uh, great service. Uh, really um, good drinks. If you come down for a cocktail, they tend to make a nice... Stiff drink, we'll put it that way. Uh, you don't get shortchanged <laughs> on it. But uh, yeah, it's a really good place. I highly recommend it And um, if you're here. This is only about no, no more than a half mile from the South Bridge, heading south towards Osprey, but from the South Bridge going to Siesta Key. So, recommend this place. So there's one other spot I want to show you guys too. So bear with me and We'll check in in a couple minutes. Okay, the next place I want to show you guys is if you're in Sarasota looking for a great place for breakfast is Millie's. And now this is about two and a half miles north of the Stickney Bridge, the South Point Bridge, the South Bridge rather, in Sarasota. Uh, and this is a fantastic place for breakfast. Let me see if I can find a parking spot. here but 
plenty of room for me. Let's go inside. Let's take a look at the menu. So this is Millie's. As I mentioned, it's about two and a half miles north of the South Bridge on Tamiami Trail. And you can find this on Clark Road. It's off of Clark Road. Fantastic place for breakfast or lunch. So let's take a look around. I'm doing a recommendation. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. You guys earned it. This is what I usually get is the country breakfast. I recommend that split it with somebody. Come in, you know, if you're by yourself, get the half. That's really all you need, but come in, split the country breakfast. It's fantastic. I would recommend it. Let's take a peek around. Excuse me. That's what the restaurant looks like inside. A lot of people in here. Right now, if you come here on the weekend, it's usually packed. There's a, a, a waiting line, but it's worth it. And there's another area over here. So how about that? Isn't that cool? So yeah, definitely recommend this place. Two thumbs up. Uh, the, the food is fantastic. The prices are very reasonable, just like the grasshopper. So you can come here for breakfast or lunch. Grasshoppers, lunch or dinner. Prices are like throwback prices. If you're looking for great food at a great price, Millie's and the Grasshopper, places to go. So, our next stop is Siesta Key Beach. You guys ready? Let's do it. So check out the license plate here. Um, it, it says it's Hippie, and you see a surfer on the left, endless summer below the Hippie. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This, this is what the uh, universe does. It gives us messages all the time. So right now we're at the intersection of Tamiami and Clark Road. Clark Road becomes Stickney Point at this point. And uh, so when you go past this intersection, it becomes Stickney Point Road. This is the Stickney Point Bridge. This is the, the South Bridge that we're heading toward. We just went to Millie's, which is about two and a half miles up the road, heading east on Clark Road. To the left, you see a sign there for pelts, shoes, and carabas. Uh, below that, there's a sign for Earth Origins. That's a holistic store, which is much better than Whole Foods. I don't trust Whole Foods. There was an expose done that showed that they're not quite what they say they are. We'll put it that way. And I remember back years ago when they were uh, trying to push for labeling all foods, um, whether they're GMO or not, uh, there was a big push. I think it was called Prop 37 or something like that. But uh, they did not donate any money toward that movement until like the week before. And it was so minimal and petty, it really didn't make a difference. So I don't, I don't trust them. I don't trust Whole Foods. Earth Origins, they're pretty cool. They have a really good everything. Their cookies are fantastic. And I know, you know a lot of people will have issues with cookies or whatever. But there it is, Earth Origins. So, this is the South Bridge. And there's a bridge on the other end of the island, obviously the North Bridge. Sorry for the bumpy roads. For the bumpy video. <laughs> but this brings us to pretty much Beach Access 12, which earlier today I saw dolphins jumping out of the water. 
So here's the intracoastal water bank. Here's our signs. Crescent Beach to the left, Turtle Beach to the left, then the main beach on the right. There's one of the daiquiri decks that we have here on Siesta Key. There's a south daiquiri deck and a north one. Crescent Beach Grocery is fantastic. They have some wonderful food there. Uh, homemade deli in the back that has like lobster mac and cheese and all sorts of stuff. You, you know, vegans don't get on my case for it. Don't judge. You know, I, I've listed the 20 things you might not know about me. And yeah, one of the things is I do eat meat. Sorry. I don't eat as much as what I used to. But I still do, don't judge. So, yeah, this is the Crescent Beach Grocery. Fantastic food there. Uh, on our right is Beach Access 12. So when I used to live at that house where Harmony owns, when I had that studio, I would come here Oh my God, this is like deja vu all over again. <laughs> and I would envision the best parking spot available. <laughs> Which of course is right here. <laughs> You're not supposed to park in that spot. Uh, some of us locals call that spot Kenny's spot. Uh, we've got a friend of mine that I met down here one time. His name's Kenny. And uh, he, he parked there one time and he got a ticket. Um, but at the time, it was an ambiguous... You see, there's parking lot spaces here. So it shows that there's parking. But then they put up a sign saying, you can't park there. So it was kind of ambiguous. So he ended up getting a ticket <laughs> by parking there. So occasionally when it's really packed, you will see cars parked there. But... That's the best spot you can have. And I always seem to get that spot, uh, no matter what time of the year it is, whether it's um, a, you know, a Saturday, 12 o'clock, um, on, a, on a busy day, or otherwise. Um, what I do is I envision the top three spots being available. And that way I have my choice. And I do this no matter where I go. And on my Facebook page, I've posted probably dozens of pictures, at least numerous pictures. I don't know how many I've posted. Um, no matter what time of the day it is, I always get that spot. So let's turn it around. This is Beach Access 12. This is Crescent Beach. 